Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Now, it sounds like I've got all this advice, right? But let me tell you where I get some of my information from. Yours truly, moi, knows what it's like to be stuck, glued, or stupid. Knows what it's like to be stupid. And knows what it's like to make stupid choices. I'm going to share one of mine with you. Now, when I was young and dumb, hot, horny, and hard up, desperate, pitiful, needy, the list goes on ad infinitum. Anyway, we'll stop there for now. I was dating a guy. <laughs> I was dating a guy, and I'm even going to tell you how it got started. And that was a true sign right there that the boy wasn't about nothing. But when you're needy, you make excuses for people that you don't even know. I sat there, and I was hitchhiking. And a guy offered to take me up the block. I was just going home. And I missed the last bus. And back then, you know, it wasn't that dangerous to hitchhike like it is now. So anyway, I hopped in. And the guy's talking real nice. And we're good, you know, doing good for a minute. You know, it's cool. I feel safe. And then we get halfway up the block. And uh, he says, uh, he starts reaching down, pointing. He says, uh. Uh, how much could ten dollars do? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm not a prostitute. I just need a ride home. <laughs> oh my goodness! Now, here's the comical part. He was all up. Oh, I'm so sorry. He was. He turned into the perfect gentleman at that point. Oh, I'm so sorry. Blah 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 blah. You know, I really, really, I didn't mean. Oh, I, I hope you don't take any offense. You're just so attractive. I just thought I'm like, be okay. Well, anyway, so we ended up sitting in the truck talking for a while in front of my house, and um, my parents were in the house. I hadn't, I hadn't left home yet. I was still like 19. <laughs> anyway, so we were talking. And uh, he was about 10 years older than I was, and we're yakking away. And he seemed, really seemed like a decent guy. He was a married man with kids, but he was separated. Hmm. Things go wrong, and he was separated. Ergo, he was working on his divorce. Right. Now listen to this, listen to this. We dated for, he started taking me out. We dated for about maybe four or five months. And then one day he comes over and he sits down. We have to talk. I'm like, okay, what's going on? He said, my wife wants me to come back home. So I'm going to get my act together and I'm going to... Uh, I've, I've, I've got to break up. I don't mean to hurt you, but I've got to break up because um, I need to go back and be with my family. Now, here's my point. He never filed for divorce in the first place. All right? Whatever their reason was for breaking up, part of it was probably so he could go out and do his little dirt, his little dastardly deeds like he was trying to do with me in the truck that night. So, Sure enough, that was the end of the relationship because when his wife rang the bell, ding, boom, he was gone like a bat out of hell. Ladies, ladies, you don't have to pick up someone else's droppings. Find your own man. Stop being so needy, so desperate, so hot and bothered to grab the first little piece of nothing coming along just because they have nothing better to do while they're betwixt and between. Find your own. That man tells you he's broken up with his wife and, 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 and they're going to file for a divorce. You say, okay, when you get the divorce papers, let me see him and then we can talk. 
period.